Hello, Alex Wei here. Last week, I have introduced that the Chinese calendar is a lunar solar calendar, which means it takes into account both the Earth revolving around the Sun, which is the solar portion, and the Moon revolving around the Earth, which is the lunar portion. So this week, I'm going to be moving on and talk about the details of the solar portion, which is the 24 solar terms. Simply put, the 24 solar terms divides a year into 24 sections. As we all know, the Earth rotates around the Sun in 360 degrees. So by dividing 360 degrees by 24 sections, we get 15 degrees. So which means the length of each solar term is when the Earth moves around the orbit by 15 degrees, which is also around 15 days. So how did the ancient Chinese people develop the 24 solar term system? Well, they first observed the annual motion of the sun by using a sundial. The sundial consists of a stick that is placed vertically on the ground and a ruler placed horizontally and facing north. So every day when the sun is at the south, the sunlight shines down and it creates a shadow on the ruler. So in different times of the year, the shadow's length is different because the earth is tilted. So in different times of the year, the earth gets a different intensity of sunlight because the angle is different. And also that is the reason why it creates different seasons. The two most important references of the 24 solar terms is determined by the sundial. And that is the winter solstice and the summer solstice. Winter solstice is a day where the sun is at the lowest path of the year. Therefore, this day has the longest sun shadow and also has the shortest period of daylight and the longest night of the year. And the day with the shortest sun shadow in a sundial is the summer solstice because the sun is at the highest path of the year. That is the day with the longest period of daylight and the shortest night of the year. The reason why these two are the most important is because those are the switching points of yin and yang. At winter solstice, the yang energy starts to thrive. So after that day, the daylight period gets longer and longer all the way to the summer solstice, where the yin energy starts to thrive. And then the daylight period gets shorter and shorter all the way to winter solstice. And the cycle goes on. So in Chinese medicine, in order to be healthy, we have to first conform to nature. And the first step to conform to nature is to understand the pattern of yin and yang. Right between the winter solstice and the summer solstice is the spring equinox and the autumnal equinox. And during those times, the sun is right over the equator, which means the length of the day and night is approximately the same. And it is easy to remember, equinox, equal means equal and nox means nights. One thing to remember is that in Western culture, the winter solstice, spring equinox, summer solstice, and autumnal equinox is a day. While in 24 solar terms, it is a period of 15 days, where the first day of that period is the same day as that in Western culture. So now using the same logic, we divide a year into four seasons and 24 solar terms. So which means in each season, there are six solar terms, and the names are as follow. In the spring season, we have beginning of spring, rainwater, insects awakening, spring equinox, pure brightness, and grain rain. In the summer season, we have beginning of summer, lesser fullness, grain in ear, summer solstice, lesser heat, and greater heat. In the autumn season, we have beginning of autumn, end of heat, white dew, autumnal equinox, cold dew, and frost descent. Lastly, in the winter, we have beginning of winter, lesser snow, greater snow, winter solstice, lesser cold, and greater cold. As you see from the names of the 24 solar terms, it is very agriculture related. And also, it is important to note that in 24 solar terms, the start of spring, summer, autumn, and winter is a different date than that of the start of the seasons in Western culture. So why is 24 solar terms important to us? Not only does it provide guidance for agriculture activities, arrange ritual practices or folk activities, it is also very important in Chinese medicine because it provides guidance for our rest, diet, and exercise. Because in different solar terms, we should be doing different things in order to conform to the powerful forces of the nature. 
So in the description below, I'm going to put a link of an article that describes the exact dates of the 24 solar terms and what exactly we should be doing in different terms in order to achieve good health. So this is the 24 solar terms. Next week, I will move on to talk about the lunar portion of the Chinese calendar. The moon has a lot of influence to our bodies, thus affecting our health in many ways. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Stay healthy and I will see you next week.